Threats keep coming for a for-profit education company with schools right here in Hampton Roads. This week, the Federal Consumer Financial Protection Bureau sued Corinthian Colleges Incorporated for what it calls a predatory lending scheme. And we found out their ties to veterans in Virginia may be on the brink of collapse, too. Today, the Virginia Department of Veteran Services State Approving Agency says they're in the business of protecting the GI Bill. And as such, they'd rather plan a transition for veterans now rather than let them get hit with an unexpected crisis. Ted on your side has obtained this letter notifying 152 students in the Commonwealth that Everest College's approval for GI Bill benefits has been withdrawn. Any veteran who's in the school, they will be paid through any term they're currently enrolled in. But any term that starts after that September 9th, the VA at that point will not pay their benefits to them. That's from the agency's assistant director, Martina Murray. In July, we reported that Everest's parent company, Corinthian Colleges Incorporated, was facing multiple state and federal investigations. The U.S. Department of Education's Federal Student Aid Office had placed the company on an increased level of financial oversight following a troubling SEC filing. Now we're finding out that around that same time, the Virginia Department of Veteran Services State Approving Agency began to develop concerns of their own. So so at that point, the company pretty much started to collapse because of that. And then at that point, I think everybody was then aware that their financial situation was worse off than they had thought. Approval criteria for a school to have the GI Bill benefits requires them to be financially sound. The suspension letter was effective July the 8th, and they had 60 days to provide us some kind of um, documentation or something to prove that they were financially sound. Her advice to veterans attending the Chesapeake and Newport News locations at this point is to go to another school or apply for some other type of financial aid because she says Corinthian Colleges Incorporated won't be getting an appeal. Now, Corinthian Colleges, though, seemed a little more optimistic that things could work out. A spokesman said they've also been in extensive discussions with the State Council of Higher Education for Virginia. He says that the council has determined that their schools should retain their eligibility. And he sent this statement saying, we continue to discuss this issue with the state approving agency and hope that because we've met all the criteria established by state regulators, they'll restore our school's eligibility for veterans' education benefits.